since we are on the subject of Cobra, here's another badass Cobra that I found the other day. And I had been wanting this dude. I just didn't know if I would see him in the store. This is the Shadow Tracker. He is from the Pursuit of Cobra line, and he is a badass motherfucker. Um, he doesn't use any automatic weapons. It's all bladed, ancient weapons of kind of, you know, close quarters, long range, but they're all old school weapons. Uh, I just love his look. At first, I was like, this dude's wearing some bright colors, but if you stick, you know, stay tuned, I will show you how those colors actually work in nature which is crazy but as you can see lots of detailing throughout the, the vest um, I'm sorry that the quality is not allowing you to see it but when I get up close you can see it he's got his bow and his arrow um, he holds that shit perfectly better than the freaking Young Justice uh, Artemis that I picked up the same time here are his weird blades I know one of them is for throwing because you can see all the weight is on the the very tip kind of portion of it, the top half of it. Um, I don't know, it's like a, so a hand, a short scythe. I don't know, I think it's awesome. I could easily see him throwing that thing and having it miss a Joe by a hair and sticking to the wall. That knife is awesome because I could see him sneaking up on somebody and just destroying their neck with that thing. I mean, this dude is vicious. Um, he's like the love child of like predator and spirit. <laughs> If Spirit from G.I. Joe and Predator had a love child, it would be this guy. Um, there are his two machetes. A combat knife and machete. Combat knife is awesome because it's got a little peg that allows it to sit on his leg. I'll show you that in a little bit. But it looks sturdy and it's how it looks hot, like it, it really hurt. The machete, it's a machete. What else is there to say? And it's it's really well done. I put the rubber bands around it to add uh, width so it would stay in his hand. He doesn't hold it perfectly. There's his little Cobra tattoo. So it is official because he doesn't have Cobra symbols anywhere else because I think red would stand out too much in, the, in nature, like in the woods or anything. There is the peg hole, if you look on the upper thigh, that hexagonal uh, shape you see right there. Um, and the knife can clip at like so into that hole. I think it's awesome. Like I said, it's nice when figures have weapon storage. I mean, he can't hold all of them, but he can hold most of them. Here is his awesome spear. It almost looks like a Maori uh, battle spear. It's It's got the thick uh, shaft and the point, the blade with the cool uh, like waves and whatnot, you know, sculpted into it. And it's got a hole for this uh, bolo that at the time I couldn't find, so I apologize for that. But you can also put this, the knife there if you wanted to. It just adds to, you know, the storage abilities of this figure. And it just looks kind of mean as hell when you see the knife sitting on there. But yeah, that little hole, like I said, it has many, you know, uses. Um, but you can see the little spirals and the, the waves. And I don't know, I just like the fact that these guys, this guy's weapons seem to come from all over because at first glance you're like oh black dude with a spear and dreadlocks come on then you look close a little bit closely or more closely and you realize oh it's not really racist he's got weapons from all over this is this like capture net like a snare it's a trap or whatever um it's cool but it's not big enough that was my first issue with it. as soon as i saw it i was like oh a net and the first thing I did was try to put one of our other Joes in there, and that's about all you can do. So, I don't know. People could be creative and find the same uh, mesh somewhere else and make a bigger net, and it'd be awesome. Right? When I got him, I just put his weapons in there. So, I don't know. It's cool. But, like I said before, in nature, this dude's camo seems to work perfectly. I got him when we were on vacation a couple weeks back and uh, we, we did some kind of camping and my son brought his G.I. Joe's and I brought some of mine so here's Beachhead going out hunting doing some recon and uh, above him is a shadow tracker you can barely tell that this guy is there and that's him against the sky he's just hanging upside down looking down at uh, Beachhead now I don't know like how you guys feel about this stuff but I think it's awesome that there is an actual application 
of the color schemes of this character because in the 90s G.I. Joe seemed to get away from the the semi-practical nature of the military stuff they were designing. Um, I mean before there was supposed to be a hint of realism in the Joes and the sci-fi element was all in Cobra and that's kind of what they started to run with and as with G.I. Joe as we know it. But uh, in the 90s there were weird colors and stuff that just didn't really they didn't match, but this guy, at first glance, feels like that, but then you think about it and you see him here, it's like, holy shit, he does fit. So, like you saw those pictures, right? Him against the tree. Here's him sitting in the grass, um, and there's Beachhead in the distance. I want you to be able to, like, picture this. I tried to take these pictures from angles that made it look like we're their size, you know? You can't really see him. I mean, you know there's a Joe there because I'm telling you, but if you were where Beachhead was, there's no way you would see him, you know? And the colors work so well that they kind of blend in if there was more grass. I, I wanted it to be a little bit more obvious for you guys, so I didn't put him covered in grass. But if this dude was covered in one of those little traps like what snipers use, you would never find him. So, I don't know. I thought it was awesome. I was afraid I was going to lose him <laughs> when I was screwing around with him in, in, the, in the grass and whatnot. But, uh works i mean look at that you can't really see where he is i mean you know it has to be one of these dark spots but it's really hard to tell where he is so imagine if you were looking for him and he was looking for you you'd be asked out by the time you find him i mean you can't see him but he's there i mean that's what camo does and they did a good job actually you know making his camo work properly you know and be semi-realistic so props to hasbro for that Sorry, Beachhead. <laughs> they just, <laughs> it's just not your day. Not your day, sir. Um, but uh, yeah, and he also has a combat knife. I forgot to mention that earlier. But anyway, this figure is awesome. I think he's a complete badass. And if you are lucky enough to find him online for a decent price, I paid $7.99 for him. And that was at like, I want to say a Target. So um, yeah, check this dude out. If you find him, it's totally worth it if you're a fan of G.I. Joe and Cobra. And uh, I want to say that's it. Next week, I will be reviewing The Doctor. And I probably will also throw in a review of the uh, Cobra Shock Troopers from Pursuit of Cobra. So, check me out, alright people? Peace.